carry two poems, if that's okay. Yeah. The first one is kind of weird. It came out of a meditation retreat, and I, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think it's kind of cool, so I'm gonna go for it. Cold silence. Can you hear the smell of silence? Can you join the song of stillness? Can you taste it with your eyes? Ears laying upon chest, listening to vital signs. What the rhythm, what lies between beats, and who is it that lives between the breaths? What land is there where this is not real, where every breath is in certain death, where sound cannot escape its maker, where all is empty, all is quiet? None listening, does water jump the cliff? I find no motion outside my brain. I find water waiting eager on the edge. I find stillness, stillness, only stillness in spaces where no one sees or cares. Thunder strike, falling tree, burning grass. I call this quiet, quiet, where there's none to make a sound, quiet, where there is no mind, no beginning, quiet, 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 listen, listen, listen. Breathe the mountain air that breathes itself, let the glacier stream swallow you whole, and from the peak no one sees you. The mountain wants nothing, has no plan. The river has neither course nor destination. And what do I know of things immortal? And when no one knows me or cares to, then what am I? The smell of silence and song of stillness, I can taste it with my eyes. I wrote this one on the, on the ride back from a really lovely backpacking trip last summer to um, Farm the Arch in Shai Shai Beach. Really beautiful place. It's called Waves. It kind of came out of a journey in exploring my own anxiety and fears of change. And just sitting with the waves for a couple days, just chilling on the beach, and just sitting with those waves. I'm afraid of change, said little wave. What for? asked Big Ocean. I am happy as I am and do not wish for things to be as they once were, said Little Wave. Then don't worry, replied Big Ocean, they will not be. Yesterday's storms will yesterday's storms have returned to me and will never arise again. Is that so? asked Little Wave. My fears will never resurface. Today's peace will abide forever. No, said Big Ocean. Today's peace will also collapse into me, but what comes tomorrow, calm or storm, I promise will never be as it once was. And that's exactly why I am afraid, said Little Wave. I don't know what's happening. You never will nor need you, said Big Ocean. Just surrender to me and all will be as it is. How can I, asked the wave, when I don't even know what's coming next? You never will nor need you, reminded Big Ocean. I am that I am. I am that I will be and I am that I was. I would know peace, said Little Wave, if only I knew how much longer this would go on. You never will, nor need you, replied Big Ocean. Of me have you arisen. Into me shall you dissolve, and from me you are never apart. I love you, Little Wave. I know you, Little Wave. I am you, little wave. I am you, said Big Ocean. I am you.